That's Jeremy miraculously walking just a few days ago with daughter Ava using only a cane. Go. Renner protected Ava from seeing him in the hospital right after the accident. He didn't want to scare her. He got emotional when Diane showed him this photo of them reuniting at his L.A. home. What did she say to you? You have to say anything. I mean, she said she's scared. She said she loved me. Where is he bleeding from? I don't know. He has some blood coming out of his ears, his nose for sure, and then his eye, it was looked like it had been pushed out. Renner's neighbor, Rich Kovac, called 911. He and his partner, Barb Fletcher, telling Diane Renner's injuries were so severe that at one point they thought he'd passed away. He just got a clammy feel to him, and he turned this gray, green color, and I feel in my heart that I feel like I lost him for a second. He closed his eyes. <laughs> The Renner family had just celebrated the new year the night before the accident. He shot this video of the new snowfall just 13 minutes before the accident happened. Everybody was getting dressed to go skiing. Ah. So I'm out there and then uh, my nephew came out to help me because a lot of things were getting stuck. This disturbing animation showing how it all happened. Jeremy stepping out of the snowplow to make sure his nephew Alex was safely out of the way. Failing to set the parking brake, he fell off as it began to roll. When he tried jumping back on to stop it, he fell into the path of the 14,000 pound snowplow. That's what I screamed, by the way, when I went under the thing. Not today. At the hospital, Renner managed to write his family a note on the phone. The last words to my, my family, don't let me live on tubes on a machine. And don't, if I have my existence gonna be on drugs and painkillers, just let, let me go now. But doctors were able to surgically rebuild Renner, putting him back together using metal plates, screws, and titanium rods. So let's just see sort of hip flexion here. Then the rehab began with chiropractic sports physician, Dr. Christopher Vincent, his recovery begging the question. Do you dream of doing those stunts again? I'm okay with a stunt guy doing it. Sport, I'm 52. It's fine. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but if Renner ever gets the itch, Dr. Vincent told me there will be absolutely no physical limitations. There's no doubt he'll be doing stunts, doing action movies again, and probably sooner than we expect. From a wheelchair to a walker, and now just a cane. Jeremy Renner's progress following his New Year's Day accident has been nothing short of miraculous. And helping him every step of the way has been chiropractic sports physician Dr. Christopher Vincent. And as Jeremy continues to inspire us with his recovery, he's given Dr. Vincent full permission to share all the details with me, good and bad. Ah, oh, that hurts. Yeah, this is a lot of scar tissue built up in here. What did you think when you realized the extent of his injuries? I immediately thought the worst and, and you know, thought it was going to be paraplegic or quadriplegic. Uh, and then I called his surgeon and, and went through all the injuries. And miraculously, it missed most of his vital organs. Amazingly, the snow cat kind of crushed his body in a way that it missed his spinal cord. Despite Jeremy defying extraordinary odds, his recovery has been incredibly challenging and painful. The snowplow accident left him with more than 30 broken bones. And just some of the extensive surgeries he endured included having his rib cage and eye socket rebuilt with metal plates. It's all mental. It's a mental game. Yeah, her psycho. After getting a call from Jeremy's sister, Dr. Vincent used all of his resources to turn Jeremy's house into a full-on rehab center. Just slowly progressing from, you know, from basically bed rest to standing to being able to be in the boost treadmill. You can choose how much gravity you want in there so we could have Jeremy walking at like 10%, 20% of his body weight. During this journey, I gotta imagine you have setbacks too, right? Yeah, and that's the hardest thing for any any driven person. There's always ups and downs. At one point during his interview with Diane Sawyer, Jeremy was so overwhelmed with pain, it was difficult to even speak. Oh, my jaw. They put screws in my skull and in my, in my jaw to kind of hold it with rubber bands. My oh, jaw's killing me. I'm sorry. Come on. How long do you think his road to recovery will be? For me, his recovery is probably gonna be ongoing for the rest of his life. Just the little pains, but I suspect we're gonna be 
you know, a good part of a year till he's running, jumping, flying through the air. This whole side of my body, I don't really feel uh, just sensitivity to touch, but it'll, it'll grow. It's, it's, I can feel the change already in two months. And Dr. Vincent says Jeremy's positive mindset will remain crucial. You know, injury of this magnitude really causes people to give up. You're so motivated yeah. to, to heal. Yeah. Well, what's the alternative, you know what I mean? We've actually had to pull him back a little bit to, to have him recover because he's he got on his feet and just went, yeah, I'm, I'm standing, I'm upright and, wow. and uh, full speed ahead.